Hi guys, it is Cthulhu here, and here I am at Grotworms for my Slayer task. Um, so it's been a while since I made a video, but that's only because things get very, very repetitive if I keep making videos doing the same thing over and over again, because that is exactly what I'm doing, the same thing over and over again. And that is to say farming, Slayer, Divination. Slayer, farming, Divination. In fact, Slayer, farming, Divination, farming, Slayer, farming, Divination, farming, etc. Um... Actually, it's not like that at all. It's only the once a day that I'll do divination quickly for the daily challenge. Otherwise, it's just slayer and farming. Um, but yeah, since the last time, I'll I'll show you a qu quick clip of my bank as it is right now um, at the end of the video. I won't go through it in any depth at all. I'll just show it to you and then you can pause the screen if you want to. Um, and I'll also show you my slayer points as well because I'm coming to the end of this slayer task. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting quite a way to... Um, well, to reaching my goals, I guess. Um, firstly, Slayer is just going as normal. I'm now around 52 million experience. As you can see on the counter, it's 10 million, so roughly around 11 million since I came back to uh, to RuneScape um, that I've, I've managed to get in this time. So I don't know how that actually stacks up against everyone else, um, what is normal these days, but then again, it's not like I have much time to play, so 10 million seems to be pretty decent. Um, also, a ton of divination experience. Um, I just got so much experience from uh, prismatic lamps and uh, and so much bonus as well. I've got about 450k worth of bonus experience to use. So I've actually made a decision to stop putting bonus experience in divination now. I think 450k is enough for me to get level thir um, level 99 on. I was going to say level 13. I meant 13 million experience. Um, but yeah, I think it's enough to get at level 99 with now. I mean, obviously 450k bonus plus the 450 I actually have to get to get that bonus. So that's 900k. I think the rest will probably come from daily challenges and and stuff like that. Um, Tears of Guthics, that kind of thing. Troll Invasion. So I think I'll hit 30 million without having to put any more bonus experience into Divination. So as a result, I'm now putting it into Slayer, which is why every now and again you'll see some bonus experience coming up. Though I might have actually just exhausted it because bonus experience for Slayer does not last very long. Um, also, that new aura, that weekly aura thing where you get double experience, I need to start using that for Slayer. Um, I haven't, I've only used it once and only for Divination. I for completely forgot to use it at all last week. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Ice Strike Worm mask out and I'll force a uh, I'll force that task to happen and then I'll use my uh, my bonus experience because that will be that will be major experience. I think that's probably the best task for experience. I don't know. I'm guessing something that involves a cannon would actually, but yeah, I, d I don't know. Plus that task would probably finish too quickly anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, what Slayer task gives the most experience, do you say, in an hour? If you have any ideas, give me, uh, well, tell me basically and then I, I can start using my... Uh, my bonus experience aura on that instead um so yeah the reason i actually started the video was quickly to talk about legacy so i'll be honest i don't really enjoy legacy um i like the way things are now i mean i wasn't a huge fan of evolution of combat but now that the basic abilities are, are automated and i don't have to just you know spam spam my keyboard anymore i like this system um, I mean, firstly, from just a base level, this is faster combat. This is much faster than the old system. Um, I know that. Well, I have evidence of that only with the single task, and that was automatons. Um, yeah, it, I just it felt a lot slower killing on legacy mode with automatons than anything else. And I don't know why, but it just felt far more annoying as well. I don't know if it's just bugged or something, but... The automatons seem to use their special ability far too often and that you know while that doesn't matter too much what did get me thinking is how do things like king cal fight work where they've got those mechanics do those mechanics start to disappear now because you're on legacy mode and you can't use certain things i, I don't know what they are what abilities you use at cal fight king in order to make it easier because i don't play oh there we go actually i thought of one provoke and provoke is pretty important at cal fight king even though I've never been there, I seem to know that. Um, but yeah, you won't have that ability in Legacy. And it makes me wonder how how things like Virago, Calfight King, and any future um, any future NPCs, bosses like that will work. I mean, I say NPCs slash bosses. I did mean NPCs because there are things like Eretz, for example, where you need to be able to use Flurry. And um, 
and yeah, I mean, how does that work in legacy mode? I don't know. Maybe I should actually try it out, but I don't think they've changed the NPCs. And the question for me is, do they change the NPCs? Do they change those mechanics? Do those mo do they get rid of the mechanics basically so that it is still essentially legacy mode? Or do they not, in which case you either get destroyed by an Eret, or you have to switch mode. You have to go back to EOC, and you're forced to go back to EOC, because you have no other option. So either you get destroyed, or, or, you, um, or you go back to EOC. So I don't know how that will work. Of course, that's not much of an issue, simply because I like EOC as it is right now, and I'm happy with it. So... When they when they actually announced both things, because they did, they announced both things within a very short period of time, and neither of those things were out. But they had announced this new system, whatever you call it, this new automated ability system, whatever it's called. Um, and they then announced Legacy about a week later, didn't they? And um, and you know, in hindsight, they neither have bothered with Legacy, I don't think, because it's not necessary. Um, some of the things I will like about Legacy, though, is firstly getting my combat level back. I hate seeing other people around the level 200 knowing that they are far, far weaker than me. Um, and yet, you know, it looks as if they're actually decent players. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't like that. I want to know whether I'm dealing with someone that has 99 in all their abilities or whether I'm dealing with a noob who has 99 range and 99 HP and, and that's it. Um, I, I, I just, I want it to be clarified who I'm playing with. Um, I don't know why it bothers me. It just does. Um, what else will I enjoy? I don't think there is much more to enjoy. Um, you could say special attacks, but hey, all these abilities are special attacks to me, especially thresholds. Thresholds are special attacks to me. I don't think Armadil, God Sword, or Dragon Claws, or anything like that, is going to make a blind bit of difference to me. The only thing I will absolutely love when it comes to special attacks is Bandos God Sword, um, because well not too much but bandos godsword because it weakens your opponent and if i can i don't know if if you can mix eoc and legacy together but if i can use a bandos godsword spec at virago that would probably be nice the other thing that would be lovely is statius warhammer statius warhammer without a doubt used to be one of my favorite items um use it against corporal beast weaken it to hell and, and then you'd be able to soul it quite quite easily um, and I'm I'm a terrible PVM, truthfully. So you know I needed every bit of help, and Statius Warhammer was that help. Um, and having that again, will I will enjoy that thoroughly, knowing that the specs back, and knowing that I can now reduce Virago to, well, I don't know. I don't know what how much of a difference it would make. I think we would actually need to get a team together to fight Virago again. I don't know if he has the same mechanics, and therefore I need abilities from EOC to be able to kill it. But if I don't then Statius Warhammer, my god, that is going to be an epic item again. That's going to shoot up in price, I think. Um, right then, other than that, I don't think there is anything else to discuss um, about Legacy. But yeah, my two cents is that I will probably not be using it that much. I hope the combat level thing is global, rather than just EOC. Uh, rather just Legacy. Um, but yeah, I like things the way they are right now, so I will probably continue with it. The only thing I might think of then changing it for and using Legacy for is if I just want to go to Armored Zombies and just AFK there, because that's always nice. Um, right, anything else to discuss? So I don't know if I mentioned this at the start of the video, but it's coming to the end of the video. I'm going to quickly show you my bank. You can pause it if you want to have a proper look at it, but I'm not going to go through it much. Also, I'm going to show you my Slayer points. There we go, 7,586 is it? can't even read that. Um, I, it was either the 500 or the 300, so 7,300 or something like that. Um, yeah, a ton of points there. I I don't know if death runes are worth that much anymore, but if they are, I could get a hell of a lot of them um, with those points. Um, I, I don't think you get much experience for them, unfortunately, though, so I wouldn't do that. Um, so yeah, the death runes is the only choice, really. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much everything else. So yeah, apart from this, it's just farming between every single task, and I'll show you a quick farming run. Um, but that that is that is changing my bank, in you know a lot. Um, yeah, it's it's worth a hell of a lot more for farming. It's something I, I highly recommend. If you are slaying, in fact, forget it. Even if you aren't slaying, anyone who's not farming at the same time as doing anything else is an idiot. Um, I know that farming can be off-putting if you don't have all the abilities that makes it really, really easy. 
So if you don't have the Ardy Cloak, if you don't have the Cabbage Ring, if you don't have um, Lunars, all the Lunars for that matter, because I, I don't, can't remember what's, what spell the um, what level spell you need for Trollheim, but that is an awesome spell to have for farming. But yeah, there's a lot of things that you would want, you know, an Aura as well, also the Sectors, which is pretty easy to get. Um, and the Juju farming potion is probably the biggest thing of all. Um, so I do understand that farming cannot be as enjoyable or as profitable is what I really meant for most people. If you don't have all the items necessary to, to maximise from it. But if you do, it is. And even if you don't, you still make a decent amount of money. And yeah, so I think I've got about 70 mils worth of, of land to in my bank. Something along those lines. And it's all profit. It is 100% profit because every single time... I buy the 100 seeds, I buy 100 seeds at a time, every time I do so, and it costs me about 4 million, I then sell 4 million worth of herbs. So I am balancing the books, and everything that is in my bank is 100% profit, and the next time I buy 100 seeds is the next time I sell another 4 million worth of herbs, or whatever the cost is. Um, but yeah, that's making a huge difference. Also, I'm not sure if I ever released this video, but in one video I wanted to also talk about big drops. When I say big drops, I mean expensive drops. So, for example, the Armadil plate skirt that I got, but also seismic um, seismic flakes or scales. Oh, yeah, they're scales, aren't they? Those, um, whatever they're called, actually. I don't even know if it's called seismic. It's something else, isn't it? But those scales that are worth about two hundred and fifty to 300000 that you get from Dark Beasts and Ice Strike Worms and Eretz, I've been selling those, and I've also been selling other big drops that I've been getting. So I've also got pneumatic gloves, and again, I can't remember if I told you this in a video, but when I get these kind of drops, what I've been doing is I've been selling them. Um, the thing about them is that if you keep them in your bank long term, even in the short, even while in the short term, they may increase in value. In the long term, they're useless items, and they're going to drop. So I've decided that what I'm doing is I'm selling those items. But I'm taking the cash out independently from my uh, from my normal cash stack and I'm putting it in the Slayer tab. So in the Slayer tab that you would have seen a couple of minutes ago, you would have seen cash in there. And that cash represents the big drops that I've been getting and therefore selling as well. Um, I know it's not as nice to look at, but in the long run, it means a lot more for me money wise. And hey, let's face it, if I was then to buy those items back in a year's time so that I get a nice bank tab again, you know, it's going to still be there. Those items are still going to be there, but I'm still going to have cash in the bank as well because I'll be buying those items back at probably far less than I, I sold them for. So that's a, that's a decision I made there. Also, I should mention one thing you won't see. I can't even remember the item now, actually. Dragon Bones. I don't think it was Dragon Bones. Ah, Rune Bars. You might have noticed that there weren't very many Rune Bars in my bank. I think probably only the one or two um, that I've been getting from drops recently. Basically, I took a few items and I started selling them um, and I've been buying them back now. But I was selling them because they were shooting up in price and it was a really good decision on my part because things like Eret Bones were selling for 13k each and I sold those and now I've bought them back again for about 10k each. Uh, no, in fact, exactly 10k each. So I made 3 million profit. Well, no, not 3 million, probably 6 to 9 million profit from those so you know i've been making some sensible decisions but if i see an item shoot up in price i will well i'll i'll sell them and then i'll buy them back at a later stage um it's just it's just a good decision and so that's why there's cash in the bank um but yeah i bought everything back except for rune bars i'm waiting for rune bars to drop again because i sold them at a roughly around 14k i think they've even gone up to 15k but no i bought them at about 14 800 um anyway guys that's it the video footage is over so i am going to see you in my next video thanks for watching until next time see you around